Hey there cats and giddies, I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and with this video I'm here once again uh, because I got a couple of great packages in the mail from my friend across the pond, Howard, and uh, this big sucker came today. Um, I actually just got another package a couple of days ago, and uh, unfortunately as I was doing the unboxing for that one, I accidentally kicked my camera over sent it flying it crashed to the floor in mid you know recording uh so i thought i'd do as sort of a prologue to opening this massive you know package right here in this video i'd showcase what was sent in that previous package and uh in this case it was three doctor who magazine publications uh you know all brand new they're out you know now as of the time this recording as far as i understand this one is uh of course the essential doctor who alien worlds and uh just phenomenal of course capaldi on the cover and uh, just to show a little bit about what you have inside from the classic series to the modern they're basically taking a look at the history of Doctor Who and all the alien worlds that the Doctor has visited um, and I absolutely that fascinates me and I love that uh, you know these magazines are just highly highly illustrated with so much good stuff from production stills art renderings and everything like that uh, again, talking about the history of Doctor Who, you know, right here you have uh, Gallifrey and, and stuff like that. Um, on one page, uh, they actually talk about Karn, and, uh, which you, you know, might be familiar with the Night of the Doctor, as well as uh, the Brain of Morbius. In fact, I <laughs> just opened to the page. And uh, these are just fantastic. Absolutely phenomenally illustrated with pictures and stills, like I say, behind the scenes stuff, production stuff from Doctor Who, the entire history of the series. For those who are, uh, you know, sort of with Moffat's claim that, uh, you know, to bring back stuff from the classic series would confuse newer viewers and everything like that. Go down to your local newsagent, pick these up, and, and you have all the answers at your fingertips. Um, and these are awesome, too. I actually picked up uh, two of the previous volumes where it was all about the TARDIS and all about the Eleven Doctors, as well as the actors who have played the Doctor. Just great stuff. Um, the second in the trio of magazines he sent were... Uh, you know, the most recent, I guess, this is probably out on the, sh you know, store shelves now, uh, DWM 482, I believe it is, with the lovely Jenna Coleman. <laughs> and uh, this is awesome, of course, talking about the upcoming series, how uh, Jenna was going to be leaving, and, you know, basically she's back. And this is, this right here, frameworthy. I mean, the quality of the the photography in these magazines and just... The written content uh, from the reviews to talking about production stuff, Cyberman right here, and uh, talking about, of course, the whole Missy coming back and everything. And, oh, I just actually noticed something I didn't see the first time, and this is actually pretty cool. I'm a big time fan of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. There's Freddy in a Doctor Who bag. The third, of course, is the uh, 2015 yearbook and this is fantastic uh, of course Capaldi and Jenna um, talking all about series 8 and the production stuff behind the scenes building up to it you know uh, one of the first images there of Capaldi and Jenna together and um, this is fantastic I mean it goes from deep breath all the way up to uh, whatever I can't remember off the top of my head the final volume uh, or rather final episode for series 8 was um, I'll f see if I can flip to it in here but, uh, you know, it's just so fantastic, all the stuff that they have in these mags. And uh, so much reading material, like I say, top, top quality stuff. And uh, Forest of the Night was a good episode. I know some people didn't like it, but I liked a lot of the themes that were put into that. And uh, actually, there's a whole section uh, in memoriam, you know, actors and actresses who have passed on in the last year uh, who were tied and affiliated to Doctor Who. So, I mean, this stuff is just fantastic. And it's not just the magazines themselves. Uh, Death in Heaven was the one I was trying to think of with Missy right there. Um, it's also like, you know, the full page ads and stuff. If you look at the back of uh, the current DWM, you have the fourth season of Fourth Doctor Audios advertised. And the ad is just exquisite. It's beautiful. So... Lots of Doctor Who reading material right there. And that was package number one from the other day. <laughs> so uh, now we will be getting on to the piece de resistance, the uh, current package that just came. I'm going to scissor the sucker open, and we'll see what is inside. And again, Howard just, you know, 
your generosity has overwhelmed me the time you've taken to gather stuff together find stuff and send it my way and uh as per usual, we have a note with this one, so I will go ahead and read the note first, right here. And uh, it says, Dear Johnny, please find enclosed more Doctor Who goodies, other goodies on their way. And uh, as of the time of this recording, Howard had just briefly told me uh, recently that there was a third package on its way. And I hadn't even gotten these two yet, you know. So, And we have plenty of nice bubble wrap as we go in here. Feeling around... I think I feel DVD, CD. Let's take a look at the CD first. Here we go. And this one is uh, Paul McGann and Sheridan Smith, Sisters of the Flame. Oh, I wonder if that's to do with Khan. And uh, on the back, of course, the richest man in the galaxy has just bought a backward planet with no obvious mineral wealth in the outer reaches of the universe. An obscure mythical sect has been revived after centuries of neglect. A new race of aliens are hunting for prey, but why? As the Doctor and Lucy attempt to discover the answer, it becomes clear that someone is attempting to resurrect the past, and they need the Time Lord to help them achieve it. Sounds freaking awesome. I love these audios. Uh, you know, the ones I've reviewed already, Howard, that you've sent just have been phenomenal. And uh, what else we got in here? I'm trying to get. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. We got two DVDs. Oh, so, so cool. Oh, hell yes. More of the Key to Time series. We got The Power of Crawl. Just phenomenal. I, I love, you know, Tom Baker. And Mary Tam is awesome as Romana 1, as well as The Armageddon Factor. So, booyah. Right there, two DVDs. What else we got in here? Oh, we got another audio CD. And this one is The Vengeance of Morbius. Hell yes, if you can actually see that with all the glare. And this one is, uh, once again, Paul McGann, Sheridan Smith. Just freaking cool. Written by Nicholas Briggs. The universe is in grave danger. The very fabric of time and space is being altered. The Doctor and Lucy must race against time to present or rather prevent the destruction of everything they hold dear. They may have to sacrifice everything to save the universe, even themselves. Morbius, hell yes. Uh, I was just saying, brain of Morbius, you know. And uh, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, damn. Check this out. 11th Doctor Sonic. Oh, that is so badass. I am totally opening this sucker up. I'm not going to do it on camera, but just phenomenal. Howard, once again, uh, the generosity and, like I say, taking the time and the effort and spending to send this stuff my way from across the pond. Just absolutely phenomenal. Some new audios. There will be reviews coming of these. And, uh, of course, the Key to Time series. Freaking awesome. Just so awesome. Um... I had been wanting to get this series back, the Key to Time stories, for the longest time. And uh, once again, you know, the publications, oh, just so freaking cool. Awesome stuff, Howard. Once again, I couldn't be more ecstatic and thrilled. I can't wait to jump into listening to these and stuff. And uh, I'm definitely going to be carrying this sucker on for a while now. Um, I think, you know, Capaldi sort of has a modified version of this one, or if it's not a, the exact same one. Uh, they didn't really give him his own Sonic, so it kind of, you know, bridges the gap between the 11th and 12th Doctor, I guess you could say. And uh, just awesome. I love it. I love the detail. It, you know, I'm assuming it has, like, the function where you can open up and, and do the scanning and everything like that. Thank you so much for sending this stuff my way. And, uh, you know, advance thanks for the third package that I already know is in the mail. And anything else you see fit to send my way, uh, it just overwhelms me every single time. So, otherwise, uh, that'll be pretty much it for me on this. Hope this video finds you well. And I'll catch you all later. Peace.